There are many advantages to breastfeeding, not only for your baby, but also for you. Vicki Scott, a midwife and breastfeeding advisor with over 20 years of experience, explains how. Breast milk is a perfect food for a newborn baby. It contains all the nutrients that the baby will need and importantly contains antibodies to help boost baby's new immune system. The kind of illnesses that the antibodies will prevent in a young baby are things like stomach upsets, or stomach bugs, colds and ear infections for example. And then also in later life uh, it also can help prevent things like obesity and diabetes. Breastfeeding has many advantages for you too. It helps your womb return to its normal size and reduces bleeding. It can even reduce the risk of serious long-term complications such as osteoporosis and certain types of cancer. You'll also spend less time preparing feeds and sterilising your equipment. You'll be more mobile and you'll have more quiet time for you and your baby to get to know each other. I think many mums are concerned that they won't be able to breastfeed their babies correctly or that they won't have enough milk for them. Breastfeeding in itself shouldn't be difficult, but many mums do find it difficult as, a, as it's a new skill that they need to learn. So the first port of call would be the midwife um, and after that the health visitor. They would be the first people to go to for help. It's normal to be concerned, but it's really reassuring to know that as long as you breastfeed your baby enough, then you'll make enough milk to feed your baby. It all works on supply and demand. In the first few days of breastfeeding, your breasts will start producing a creamy yellow substance called colostrum. This is packed with proteins, vitamins and protective antibodies against disease. As the milk comes in during the first week, it's normal for breasts to feel hot and uncomfortable for a few days. Cold compresses applied to the breasts after feeding can be soothing and will help reduce the swelling. After the milk has come in, it may leak. This is known as the letdown reflex. But don't worry about any leakage. You can use discrete reusable or disposable pads, which you simply place inside your bra to help prevent embarrassing stains on your clothes. There are two kinds of milk produced. As your baby feeds, he or she initially takes the foremilk, which is watery and thirst-quenching. The hind milk that follows is high in calories and will fill up your baby's tummy. Some women experience pain while breastfeeding. However, their problems can be easily overcome. Incorrect positioning and, and attachment to the breast during breastfeeding can cause pain. It can also cause, it can cause nipple soreness, it can cause mastitis, it can cause block ducts um, and low milk supply as well. Helping your baby latch on correctly is, is vital really to the success of breastfeeding because if you get that right then you'll have plenty of milk, feeding will be comfortable and you won't have any of the problems that are associated with breastfeeding mums. Well Henry latched on um, within an hour of my giving birth and I was surprised it happened so quickly and so easily for him. But then after a couple of days he sort of forgot and I forgot but you know we kind of got into each other's rhythms and, and now it's, it's great. Breastfeeding doesn't hurt if you're latched on properly, positioned properly, but I found the first couple of days it was slightly painful while he was learning about it and I was learning about him and your nipples are getting used to having something latched onto you. But then, you know, now it doesn't hurt at all and it's fantastic and we both really enjoy it. To latch on correctly, turn your baby's body towards you, chest to chest. If needed, use a pillow for support, bringing nose to nipple, which should encourage your baby to open wide. Make sure your baby gets a good mouthful of the breast, so that your nipple is in the back of the mouth, against the soft palate. If the nipple is at the front of your baby's mouth, it may be irritated as it rubs against the hard palate, and your baby may not receive enough milk. You can also try lying down while feeding your baby. Find the most comfortable position and bring your baby chest to chest. Another way of breastfeeding, which is especially handy when you have twins, is the underarm hold. Keep in mind that whichever position you choose, you should not lean towards the baby, but bring the baby towards you. Otherwise, you may experience back pain and may not be able to keep the position for very long. Each feed takes anything from 10 minutes, 50 minutes, it can, depending on how hungry he is and how, what time of day and it, it, as time goes on it gets less it sort of he now feeds a whole feed will take half an hour but initially I could be there for hours I always put water down and maybe something to eat because you get really hungry and really thirsty I prop myself up properly because you can't move once you have the baby on there's no getting anywhere so lots of pillows 
lots of refreshment and just peace and a good movie or something. Should breastfeeding hurt, gently place a clean finger into the baby's mouth to release the suction and perhaps try changing you or your baby's feeding position. Then encourage your baby to latch on again. If your breasts become engorged, try alternating hot and cold flannels or try expressing a small amount of milk to relieve the pain. If your nipples are sore or cracked, Philips Avent offers ventilated breast shells which you can insert into your bra between feeds. These protect your nipples and allow air to circulate around your breasts to heal any sore areas. Bear in mind though that you shouldn't wear the shells for more than 40 minutes at a time to avoid undue pressure on milk ducts. Philips Avent Nipple Cream can also help soothe the area. The cream does not interfere with breastfeeding and your baby will not experience any discomfort because of the cream. Some mothers may experience milk leakage from the opposite breast while breastfeeding, which may be unsightly and uncomfortable. Philips Avent non-ventilated breast shells can be placed inside the bra and will help catch this milk, which can then be stored for later use. How often you breastfeed depends entirely on your baby. On average, each baby, especially in the first few weeks, will feed every two to four hours. Try feeding on demand, but remember, there are no hard and fast rules. If your baby's feeding well and is, is, is settling for a couple of hours sleep between feeds, gaining weight steadily, having lots of wet and dirty nappies, then I'm sure that he'll be getting enough milk. Inverted nipples can make the first days of breastfeeding more difficult as the baby may not find it easy to latch on properly. Nipples can be corrected with cosmetic surgery, but mothers may not be able to breastfeed afterwards as the procedure involves severing the milk duct. However, there is a non-surgical method which corrects nipples permanently without causing tissue damage. The Philips Avent's Niplet works by gently stretching the milk ducts during pregnancy. The niplet is completely painless and has been clinically proven to be a permanent solution for inverted nipples. The valve of the niplet can be separated from the applicator and easily hidden away under loose clothing, for use day or night. When used regularly, the nipples should fill the mould within approximately three weeks. Continue using the niplet until the nipple no longer retracts. Generally, the nipple will be corrected after about 13 weeks, as long as you wear the nipplet for at least 8 hours a day. Mm -hmm.